Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Not sure what time it is when you view this video, but for me, it is morning here in Zone 9B. We had a little bit of a, I don't even want to call it a hurricane, I want to just say a little storm where we got like, as you can see, rain, a lot of it. And I'm um, feeling helpless in my home as I come to look out my glass sliding door to check on my garden and my basil has knocked over and I have a trellis on it and it still managed to knock over. I want to run out there so bad y'all like <laughs> I need to get out to my garden. But my broccoli and turnips. I also have um, nasturtiums and carrots. Uh, it looks like my Texas sage over there in the corner has knocked over as well. And I think I have some uh, mustards in there. Some beets in there. Some turnips in there. Uh, some dill in there. But anyway, as I'm sitting here, you could tell my broccoli have all fell over. I really hope they're not damaged. I really hope that I can save them when it stopped raining. Like, I hope none of the branches has snapped because my babies done came a long way. And some of them even have heads on them. So, I will be... I would be so hurt if those are damaged. Um, but I'm also looking at my turnips. Now, my turnips was kind of ready about a day or two ago. I was told not to let them get too big because then they taste woody. So they were ready maybe a day or two ago. But I'm going to go ahead and put on my jacket and put on my rain boots. I'm not going to try to go out there and save the broccolis. Look at my tomato leaning. I feel helpless. I'm not going to go out there and try to save the broccolis. But I am going to go out there and pull up the turnips. I don't want them to get too woody. And besides, I decided that I will try for the first time to make turnip greens today in this nasty weather we have. So... Yeah, I'm going to go put my boots on and a jacket on. And I'm going to try to run out there to get my turnips and run back in the house. I might even sneak a peek over there to my other bed. By looking at it, the broccoli over there look like they're doing good. I think I had a total of 12 um, broccoli heads. But this bed is... Five, so that's five big broccoli heads. If my broccolis are destroyed, that's five broccolis gone down the drain, y'all. Yeah. So yeah, let me go pull them, and then I will have to bring them in the house to see what they look like, and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is my first time growing turnips. I pulled one last week because I was pretty anxious because I seen a little bolt pop up. I was anxious, which was a nice size. I was also told not to let them get too big because then they get um, woody and they don't taste as good. But I was also told you can eat the leaves. So today, on this nasty wet day, 
my neighbors moved all their vehicles on the side of the house from the other side because they have trees. They was afraid the trees might, whatever. So I said, we're going to do some turnips today for dinner. This will be my first time cooking turnips in the greens as well. But like I said, this is only my second um, year growing. I want to say my first year growing because this is my first season of the fall growing um, vegetables. So I'm a little heartbroken, but I do understand why. It doesn't justify the fact that my feelings are still hurt. But I notice when you start planting turnips, once they reach a certain length, it's best to start thinning them out. Because if you don't thin them out, the bulk don't have room to grow. So I'll show you a few here. The one or two I did last week was perfect. These right here, they were so close together. I think it was actually right here. I had all three of these right next to each other. When I pulled one, all of them came up. And as you can tell, the leaves are pretty nice length or size, should I say. So it clearly came from um, not thinning out. As I'm pulling them, it's kind of the same way I pulled them in my garden bed because I got them in raised garden bed. So those three was together. And I have a good amount, at least two inches or more of nice greenery on the ends of them. So it's not that they didn't grow. It's clearly because I did not thin them out. I left maybe, I don't know, eight of them out there in the bed. And I'll show you in just a moment. I left those because by pulling these out, I noticed those wasn't ready, so I was like, okay, maybe y'all might grow for me if I leave y'all there. So, these ones right here, I literally pulled one out, and several came out. So, I couldn't tell you if I eat turnips or not, if I like turnips or not, I couldn't tell you. But the fact that um, they don't take long from seed to harvest, I think it was like 60 days from seed to harvest, and you can eat the leaves in the bulb. I like even if I don't like the bulb, I might like the leaves because I love collard greens. So why not give it a try and grow them? So they do um what's the word? They do germinate very fast. As you could tell, they grow very well. You just have to thin out. Um I never tried in pots. I jumped right into a raised bed because that's all I have is raised beds. I'm really not a fan of pots. But um, I think the soil was on point. I just didn't thin out. If I had to um, tell myself, what did you do wrong? Even though it's my first time and you'll say, don't beat yourself up. What did you do wrong is you didn't thin them out. If you would have thinned them out, you would have got a better harvest. So I got one, two, three, and then I got this little baby here. Now, I don't know if you could still eat these because they are pretty fat. They just didn't get that shape to them. I'm sure enough for the try them out. I don't know who they for the try them for the try them out. You can see the little color on it. I think this is the, the purple turnip. You can see the little color on them. So, I'm for the try them out. I won't try these right here out. The little nubs. Can I use that word? Nubs. I won't try these out. But I'm going to go ahead and clean these up. Cut the bulb off. Um, clean them up and see exactly how much. I have a household of five. So with a household of five, I will clean these up. Really good. And this should be enough to feed my household of five. Um, I haven't got into preserving yet. Definitely haven't got into that yet. So this right here is what we will cook for dinner tonight. But yeah, let's clean these up. And real quick before I clean these up, let me show you what the bed looks like now. So as you can see, 
It's definitely spaced now in between. I was worried about my broccolis, but when I went over there, the stem is leaning, but it's not cracked or broken from the root. So I'm thinking if I just stake them and add more dirt, they'll be just fine. The dirt itself wasn't disturbed, nor is the stem cracked or broken. So cross our fingers, pray to the good Lord. If I can just stake them and cover them up with dirt, they'll be just fine. But now that I thin those out, that's about, I don't know, I didn't count, you guys. Uh, between 8 and 10 turnips that I did leave in there to grow. So, let's see will those catch a bulb now that I made. Ooh. Let's go clean up these turnips. <laughs> 